everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today I'm going to show you the quality of the cameras on the Galaxy S21 series. Now this phone is the Galaxy S21 Plus, so if you're taking a picture of your loved one or of your loved pet, the quality is just outstanding. This thing is amazing when it comes down to camera work, and I didn't really go off and try to take a picture and then another picture and delete and another picture and delete. Really, this was just first time shots with all of these sitting right here, even if he is kind of moving around a little bit, it still captures some really good footage. So first up are these two images. And so I wanted to sit in the exact same location, keep the phone in the exact same location. And I wanted to show off what it looks like with the ultra wide versus the regular one X. Now there's a lot of content, a lot of data that's being picked up in these images. So with this 0.5 X, the ultra wide, it does keep everything in focus and it, it does a really good job. I didn't have to tap anywhere on the screen for me to focus on any particular area. It actually did a really good job by itself. And then when I went with the one X, the little square went around his face, picking up that there was somebody there, something there, an object. And so it's able to keep him in focus. But if you also take a look at everything else, everything else also looks pretty good, but he was able to stay off and be crispy without going inside of live photo. So live photo, that is gonna be this image here but there was a lot of light going on a lot of things that I knew I could take a better photo but I still wanted to show you what this looked like uh, and if anybody is wondering what this is this is just an empty container of something uh, the nice child block proof lid with a lot of rice so he actually shakes it like maracas and he just loves that thing he actually plays with that more than his other toys oh yeah and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's promo and you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and the latest information and just showing off the quality of some unreleased phones make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos now if we move over to these images over here now these ones are just super clear a huge huge fan of the coloring of the contrast of the whites and pretty much just all of the balances the contrast i mean it looks really good i got my crocs in there everything back here is going to be you know blurred out and then he's just going to be super crispy and clean you know with this image and shot here again this one was shot with live focus uh, this one's probably going to be one of my favorite photos of him uh, and it's only going to be able to be taken here on the galaxy s21 series so really really good job with these images now when you do go through and you change your background effect you can switch it over into seven which is exactly what i did here so here's this shot you can see this ring and you can see this little uh these hanging toys and such you can see that they're a little in focus and this is at the default of five. Now, if you go to change background effect, you can switch it to seven. So when you take a look here, you see how pretty much almost clear it is, but it's still really blurred compared to this image here. So you can see uh, this is level five and this is level seven. Now, if we take a look right around his head and also especially with his hair, usually the hair gets lost. Sometimes the lines around the head gets lost when you do that blur effect. So if you remember how this one looks right here with that blur effect of five, now if we move it over into seven, it still actually does a really good job versus some of the other phones out there because there is going to be a lot of depth that's happening, you know, right around the edges of his head, his ears. Uh, so Samsung did a really good job software wise with the whole blur effect. And especially when you go between here and here, you can tell the difference between five and seven for the intensity. Uh, but shout out again, Samsung killing it here uh, with the live focus. Now, this is one that really surprises me. I'm not even out in the direct sunlight. I'm actually just kind of in a shaded area. And uh, we actually call this one Merle. It's, it's a Merle coat. Uh, this is pretty much a mixture of a, a, a toy poodle and a Pomeranian Bashan. We call them uh, uh, Pumachans. So if you guys are wondering where I've been at, I've been a little bit busy with uh, not only my son, but also all these little tiny baby puppies. But just look at the, 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 the content, look at the data, the quality it's able to pick up here in the shade. I'm not in the sunlight anywhere. I'm actually underneath the deck, really close to actually underneath the deck. You have a lot of white happening back here with the snow and it's still able to just pick up everything now now this dog in particular with its its fur coat there's going to be some whites there's going to be some grays some browns uh and and some light areas and dark areas and everything just came out perfect just look at the quality 
of the fur. Look at just the tiny little pieces of hair and everything else too. Now this one here was not shot with live focus. This one was actually just auto. I went outside, grabbed the little pup, took a photo, ran back inside, and this is the quality. So this is just regular auto, uh, not really trying to do anything crazy. I did not go into pro mode, uh, nothing like that, and able to come out with this type of quality. So when you're taking a picture of either your pet of your human loved ones uh, or just humans that you don't love. Either way, when you're taking a picture of a person, an object, a pet, and the same thing will come when it comes down to landscape. I can already tell you that now. The quality is, is just above and beyond. So when it comes down to comparing this versus my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I wasn't able to get photos looking this good. I can get close, uh, but it was nothing like this. This is just... This is just kind of blowing my mind a little bit with the lines around the head, the, the hair as well. Usually on past phones, it would all be blurred and, and not looking as crisp and as clean. So shout out to Samsung, killing it, doing a good job. I'm not going to kind of, you know, blur on and, and go on anymore, but I wanted to show you guys just what you're able to do. I'm not trying to do anything crazy, just sitting in the living room, taking pictures, and that's really pretty much about it. And this is what you're able to get with this quality. Now I'm excited to, you know, get uh, the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Uh, again, I'll also kind of do a little comparison versus the Plus as well, but this, the, the quality, you, you really cannot say that this is bad. This, this camera here, you know, if MKBHD is going to be doing a, a contest coming up shortly of, you know, blind, you know, test of phones and which one's going to win, I think at the end of the year, you know, uh, the S21 series can definitely win. If they don't win, then it's just not underneath the conditions of this. It's just probably just regular conditions of auto, but still this sitting over here is just auto, just going outside, taking a snap, boom, done, go back inside. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.